giving Allah all the praises for giving us a sign of the end. In Bonnie and Clyde. Bonnie and Clyde was a picture of the last two witnesses and they died 1934. And as I sat in my truck, Allah tells me to Google and to find out when Bonnie and Clyde died. And so therefore, I googled what happened in 1934. And when I did so, it was the death of Bonnie and Clyde was the most tragic event of 1934. And so therefore, I praised my creator that he never misguides me. He told me 2034 was the end, and then he told me 2034 was going to be the end in September. The last two witnesses will die. And so, just like Bonnie and Clyde died 1934, the last two witnesses will die 2034. Isn't Allah amazing? He's amazing. He's spot on. We have HD prophecy past 1080p right here in the house of David. All right? Giving all the praises to my creator, I decree and declare that there is no God but Allah and Al Mahdi is his message. <laughs> Giving Allah all the praises that is due to him for sending us Fernando Valenzuela, which was a time marker and a sign of the end. 34 has now been removed and is retired out of all numbers. Now I want to clear up some things. I have been preaching since September the 17th that September 16, 2034 is the end. I didn't start preaching it on the 16th. I came home and I first told my family on the 16th. But I didn't preach it until the 17th. Now listen to me closely. 16th, 17th. Now let's go back to what happened in 2016 and make that connection with 2017. Years ago in 2016, I used to go out on the streets and preach. I used to have a sign. And I would also have a sign that would say 2017 was the end. I was radical. I was radical in my faith. It would say 2017 is the end. Come to find out, ain't nothing pop off in 2017. But I never was discouraged. I kept going. So then, now, fast forward. Now I'm saying that 2034 is the end. And then Allah let me know that he never did let me down. He just wanted to show me how strong my circle was. And even right now he wants to show me how strong my circle is. Because 2 times 17 is 34. 
four. Okay. That right there amazed me. Going back to the time, it was the 17th of September of this year when I first started preaching that 2034 is the end. And here we have Fernando Valenzuela. Not only did he retire his jersey in August 2023, but he dies in October the 22nd. A couple days ago, he dies. So that's approximately almost a month before the revelation came to me that 2034 was the end. Mr. I would like to say Valentine. You know how we all celebrate Valentine's with your love? That's a sign of the end because think about it. If we all finna get ready to go into judgment, and it's all over. Right now is the Valentine time. Okay? Because it's about to be over. And Mr. V, the pitcher, he never knew that he was a sign of the end. In 2034, it's all over. So... Al Maddy has the revelation of all of the holidays. For instance, Merry Christmas, Allah revealed to me, is really a picture of me being rewarded. That's what Merry Christmas is all about. All right? You got to think about it. You have this old man fat because father he's the father all right who was white all right just like this old mountain that was once white this old stone that was one once white and he's sitting in somebody's house bringing gifts all right and he's gifts are under the tree. This tree is the tree of Jacob. All right. It is God the Father. He is the tree. He is exalted. He is king. That's why he put the star on top of his head. That's why he put the star on top of the tree. You deck him with all precious gifts. And underneath him lies presents that have to be unwrapped. Why they have to be unwrapped? They're virgins. They're virgins. You see what I'm saying? Al Maddy is the real Solomon. According to the Bible, Solomon had over a thousand women he was laying with. Over a thousand. Okay. So Christmas is a picture of Al Maddy. This is not for kids, but unwrapping precious gifts. And y'all all know what I mean. Virgins. Alright, so when we go to Valentine, it's really a Valenzuela Solomon concept. It's a time marker for the end. Valentine is Valentine. And if anybody had any sense right now, since we have nine years, they would be trying to stay out of trouble, spend as much time as they can with their love, and do justice and mercy and change. Have good works. Have at least five people that can say 
this man is a good person. This woman is a good person. That's what you should be doing within these nine years. That's why Valentine is really Valentine Day. You got to 2034. And Allah is going to reveal if you touched me in sincerity or not. It will be revealed. As much as I love you, I can't tell you. I can't tell you. All right. And you're going to learn the father was the only one that ever loved you. The father was the only one that ever loved you. Okay. Because Allah has no sons. And Allah didn't come and rescue nobody but me. And that's the sad truth about Allah's love. Going on right here in Isaiah 16 and 5. It reads, And in mercy shall the throne be established, and he shall sit upon it in truth in the tabernacle of David, judging and seeking judgment and hasting righteousness. Now this is about the man of justice. This is about al Mahdi right here in the Hebrew scriptures. Now you Muslims, what's wrong with you? You really think you can ignore the Hebrew scriptures? When the Quran tells you that the Hebrew scriptures confirms the Quran? The Hebrew scriptures is not going to clash with the Quran. If you're trying to say al Mahdi is an Arab, then you're telling me right now that the Hebrew scriptures and the Quran is clashing. Isaiah 16 is talking about a man who is going to completely clean up the earth and establish his throne. And you're telling me that al Mahdi is going to do the same thing? That's clashing. You have an Arab and you have a David. Which one is going to fulfill this prophecy? Which one is going to fulfill this prophecy? The Arab or the David? I'm here to tell you, my brother. The David is. You want to know why? Because David has the watch. Al Maddy has the watch. I have the watch. I have the Rolex. I'm Mr. Flavor Flav. I'm the original Cassius Clay Arab. I'm the original Muhammad. Muhammad, Muhammad. Muhammad Ali. Okay? My name is on the moon. Daekwon, my name is on the Quran. Islam, Islamantes. See? Islam, Islamantes. is mine. Alright? You're not going to win. You're going to be found amongst the losers, amongst the sore losers. I am the Bill Cosby. I have the Arabs jello. Why? Because I'm walking around with a halo. Hello. The truth is here. Did you know since 2016, I was singing this song right here. Time is on my side in this last day battle. Mm -hmm. Time is on my side in this last day battle. In this last day battle, got an A rap army and they marching right behind me. Got an A rap army and they marching right behind me. Time is, is on, on my side, side in this last day battle. battle. Now I'm going to give you some real prophecy on that song. That's my song. I was singing that in 2016. As a Christian that was studying to be an Israelite. 
And to prove this is all true prophecy, you can go to the movie Fallen with Denzel. And there is a white man singing a version of that song because there's actually a real song called Time on My Side. But I have my own cover to that song. Now, I was singing that in 2016. I said, time is on my side. I was singing, time is on my side. I had no idea that in 2024, Allah would tell me the end. He told me the end. He gave me the watch. He let me know I have nine years left. But in 2016, I was singing, time is on my side. In this last day battle, time is on my side. In this last day battle, in this last day battle. Now get this. I said I have an Arab army and they marching right behind me. Now in 2016, I never read about al Mahdi. I didn't know anything about an Arab ruler. I wish I would have, but I didn't. I didn't know about al Mahdi until 2024. Now you see, that's real prophecy, brother. I'm called, I'm chosen. I'm chosen and I'm called, okay? I was singing about an Arab army in 2016. And I'm not lying. There's people who could vouch for it. Maybe. I know there's at least one person that can, that can vouch for me singing about an Arab army since 2016 for sure. I was singing about being an Arab ruler in 2016 and didn't read about al Mahdi until 2024. Now that is a blessing. Allah guides me. See, that's the definition of being guided. Allah was guiding me, but he wasn't telling me everything. He wasn't showing me everything. He was just guiding me, guiding me, guiding me. That's all he was doing. Right now, I have on a pair of pajamas. And I've already told you yesterday about this conversation I had with Allah in the bathroom where he asked me how much do I think my work pants is worth. Right here, I have on some pajamas that is covered in G's. G's, G's, G's. And that stands for guided, 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 guided. It also stands for other things. Years ago, my brother could testify that I made a rap group name. It was called Gutter Tribe. Gutter Tribe. Years ago, I came up with a rap group name, and it was called Gutter Tribe. Now, I had to been in my teens. Now, here I am in my 40s. And Allah is revealing to me that I am the last Jacob and I have to recreate the tribes of Israel all over again. So in other words, I have to gut a tribe. Okay, I have to gut a tribe. Now, I was thinking about gut a tribe, gut a tribe, gut a tribe when I was in my teens. Okay. I got plenty music right now that my brother has of me rapping way back in the day. And our group was Gutter Tribe, Gutter Tribe. Now, today, I even have an email, Gutter Tribe, okay? Now, in my 40s, Allah reveals to me that he wants me 
to restart the tribes of Israel from Mexico. Allah gives me true prophecy. My whole life is prophecy. Everything about me is prophecy. And I give him all the praise. So to sum it up, Isaiah 16 and 5 is talking about a descendant from David who is going to judge. He's going to judge. This man can only be al -Madi. Now this is the thing about al -Madi. al -Madi has a son by the name of Jeremiah. Jeremiah is the golden child. Okay, he is going to be the S-U-N, all right? Because this man is going to succeed me, all right? He's going to succeed me on earth. He's going to walk before his anointed, according to the book of Samuel. That will be Jeremiah. He's going to walk before the anointed always because according to the Hebrew scriptures a descendant from David will always rule forever this is all through the scriptures now let's go through these promises for these Muslims um, doubting David they're doubting the sure mercies of David Let's start off with 2 Samuel 22 and 51. He is the tower of salvation for his king and show of mercy to his anointed unto David and to his seed forevermore. Now there's no way of getting around. This is forever. There's no escaping the rule of David. David's seed is going to rule for ever let's get some more on David ruling forever this is going to be Psalms 132 and 17 there will I make the horn of David to bud I have ordained a lamp for mine anointed his enemies will I clothe with shame but upon himself shall his crown flourish. Now that is speaking of Almighty right now. Many people are going to be clothed with shame. Allah has ordained a lamp. And it's from the house of David. That's why my channel is the house of David. I'm guided. Out of all names... My channel is named The House of David. My channel could have been The House of Daquant. I could have put Daquant, Lamanti, Lamanti, no. <laughs> it's The House of David. All right, we still got more about David. See, reigning forever. There's, there's so much on David. See, reigning forever. Psalms 1850, great deliverance give of heed to his king and show of mercy to his anointed, to David and to his seed forevermore. Forevermore. Allah has made promises to the house of David. He's made promises to the house of David. Show mercies to the house of David. According to the Bible, David was a man after God's own heart. Why? Because God would have to return to the earth. And David would be the guy he would be like. <laughs> he has a clock in which he is like Samson or he's like Mohammed for nine years. Indestructible. And he's going to completely clean up his own house you know sometimes you can tell children to clean up stuff and they can't quite clean it up like the parents and the parents get it the papa and the mama the real parents of the prophet Isa 
we're going to clean up this house, okay? We're going to get it started. We're going to clean up this house. We are the ones who have really been paying rent this whole time. And that is the mother of the prophet Isa. And that is the father of the prophet Isa. All right. This is why the Bible always tells you to honor your father and your mother. Why does the Bible tell you to honor your father and your mother? It's because in heaven there was a mother of the earth. And in heaven there was a father of the earth. That was the rule. So once Christianity began, then the father and the mother would have to visit the earth, pay the price, and set the record straight, and die, and be the first to be resurrected. All right? So that's the real truth right here in the house of David. We have the real truth. And we challenge the Muslims. Show proof that you are anointed. We challenge them. We love our brothers, okay? But we challenge them. Show proof that you are anointed. You're not. Al Mahdi knows the end. Allah lengthened the day for Al Mahdi and gave him a watch. He gave him the time. Of the end. Al Mahdi is Lamanti. Proof is in the black Kaaba stone you kiss. My testimony is I came down here from heaven. I say it all the time. I say it all the time. Never knew why, but now I understand. Al Mahdi is the father of the Prophet Isa. Their family. That's why Al Mahdi and the Prophet Isa will meet at the end. Al Mahdi is the author of the Bible. That's why he will revise the law. Al Mahdi is the reader of the Quran. That's why he will complete the Quran. Where are your scholars? Where are they? Where are they? Islam does not belong to the Arabs. That's why your Messiah is an Israelite. And Al Mahdi is the father of the Israelite, the prophet Isa. Islam don't belong to the Arabs because their Messiah is from Israel. And I gave you the best explanation in Genesis 24. Okay, I was saying Genesis 22, but that equals 24. But Genesis 24 tells you Eliezer, which is a picture of Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, was told to pick out a bride for Isaac, which was Isa. The prophet Muhammad was to pick out a people for the prophet Isa so that Isa can be the Messiah, not Muhammad the Messiah. Okay? <laughs> it was for Isa to be the Messiah. That's why the prophet Abraham told Eliezer, hey, Go give me a bride for my son. Don't get him a Canaanite. I don't want Christianity. Pick out him a people for Islam. And the prophet Muhammad, he picked out a people. And that people was the Arabians. And from them came Islam. That's how it went. But now, Isa is on his way. The prophet Isa is on his way. But who came before the prophet Isa? His father. And that's why real real scholars in Islam, okay, that got a little bit of knowledge knows that Al Mahdi is a messianic figure. 
okay? Because the religion of Islam never belonged to the Arabs. And so they have to come to grips with the Hadith where it talks about his stock and it talks about his progeny and it talks about his family and it talks about Fatima. That's all going into time. It's all going into a big nose, broad forehead is a person who knows the end. There's so many different ways I can break down these things to you to make you understand that the Gospels, the Quran, the Hadiths, the scriptures were all in metaphors. And those are just some of the qualities um, of al Mahdi, including raising up the tribes of Israel. He has the die, that's why he's the D. He's he's Mahdi, like or die, because he has the die, and I am Daiquan, to restart the tribes of Israel. So those are just like five things I mentioned that um, the scholars have no clue about with al Mahdi. He is the ultimate Imam. Okay, like when you say Islam, you you're saying Al Mahdi. When you say Al Mahdi, you're saying Islam. He is it. Okay. The Quran is nothing but Al Mahdi reciting. That's the Quran. It's Al Mahdi reciting. Not Allah. Not Allah. Al Mahdi recites the Quran. Al Mahdi was the author of the Bible. He is the voice of the Bible. And that is what made Jesus one of the most honored prophets. It was because it was his father speaking through him. And and all Jesus did was allow the Father, which is Al Mahdi, to speak through him. And Jesus did tell everybody, these words are not mine. Also, Jesus never told anyone to worship him, which agrees with his statement in the Quran in Amram. So, everything Jesus did was to glorify his Father father and that's the big trick of Christianity most Christians have no idea that everything Jesus did was to make his God bigger it was to make his father bigger not to make himself bigger but that's people people always look at the messenger Instead of looking at the source of the message. And the source of Jesus' message, I am not lying, was his father. Jesus never had his own words. Never. Okay. So there you have it today. It's a cool day. It's an awesome day. Um, I'm just sitting around waiting on a bird to land on me. Waiting on Allah to cause me to go viral because everything he shows me is the complete truth. Um, I would like to send a blessing on the family of Fernando, Mr. Valentine, Mr. 34, whom Allah used as a sign to validate my preaching of 34 being the end. Now Jesus said in the scriptures that the last days will be like the days of Noah. You must have thought he was lying. Jesus said the last days will be like the days of Lot. You must have thought he was lying. I understand now why because there was only one elect. There was only going to be one person that was going to make it. That's what that's going into. The Gospels 
point to only one person, the elect, making it. And I am that person, as you can see on my album cover, whom Allah reached down his hand to save. All right. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters who will be in the real truth. I'm merciful. Um, I understand this world has been void of the power of God. Most people on YouTube that are talking are just talking. Most people that are in religion are lost because I am here. I am the guidance because I am being guided by Allah. So I understand. I understand. I truly do. All right. We have been scammed so much that we can't accept the truth for free. I'm going to say that again. We have been scammed so much that we can't even accept the truth when it's free. Assalamu alaikum.